So, yeah. <laughs> on the vehicle are several power um, ports, a 220 at 30 amps, and over here, several 110s. And they're switched, and it requires a key on. You can okay. run almost any power tool you have in your shop. All right. This is a steel saw. Uh, you have basically the entire battery pack at your disposal and the generator set, it'll kick on once it's depleted the batteries. Okay. Now for the video, this is running off of a battery pack that's running the truck. That's right. And so this is a plug-in hybrid electric truck. That's right. Plug-in hybrid electric truck. And uh, it'll run for 20 kilowatt hours. And then you'll get another 20 kilowatt hours or more out of the gas tank generating electricity. What you need, what you need out here is an, a small an arc welder. Yeah. That would be the most use, impressive That's thing. what we usually take with yeah. us. Yeah. yeah, an arc welder and yeah. you just, people say, what? You know, yeah. a drill, right. yeah, you can run drills <laughs> off. Yeah. yeah, so that's what the that's the 200 volt outlet here would do, is yeah. the arc welder and... 220, yeah. The 220, and the capacity so on that is a 20 amp 20, capacity? It's a 30 amp. That's a 30 amp. 30 amp. So, yeah, we were charging okay. the leaf off of that earlier. Yep. <laughs> and then this is the normal charging port here? That's the J1772, normal so port. So that's where you would normally charge the vehicle. Right. Okay. Yeah, this is our power port. And this package here, 15 kilowatts, is worth about $15,000 in the market if you were to buy a generator and tow yeah. behind. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then talk a little about the truck. It's a, You said it's a Chevy Silverado? So this, the base vehicle is a Chevy Silverado, 1500 class. The glider. Yeah, the glider. And we upfit it with a 300 kilowatt electric motor, about 402 horsepower, 24 kilowatt hours of lithium ion batteries from A123, and a 150 kilowatt generator. The generator is bolted to the back of the combustion engine. The combustion engine is quiet most of the time. It only comes on to extend the range when you run, run down your batteries. The reason we pick 40 miles is the same reason the Volt. That covers about 12 to 15,000 miles a year for most people which means most of your miles are going to be on batteries and electric, but you still have the extended range. So most people, we put 100 MPG on it because most people would burn uh, only that much gas on an average use. So it's, uh, it's, it pays for itself faster than a volt because there's more gas displaced. There's, these, these trucks get 12 to 50 miles per gallon, and you drive that 15,000 miles a year, you spent 25 to 30,000 dollars on fuel alone. Mm -hmm. that, this cuts it down to about 3,000 a year. Okay. Yeah. I would I would suspect that if I were a Ford, with my F-150 most popular truck, I would be looking at this and saying, get a couple of engineers, send them off to somewhere where they can't talk to anyone else in the company and uh, give them a couple of trucks. Get started. And, yeah, exactly. And I want right. you back here in uh, 30 days <laughs> with your with your basic design. I'm guessing but if they did Ford's that, already If they did that, that, we couldn't sell it to them. So we like our no. approach better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you ever thought about using multiple platforms? Oh, yeah. Well, we've approached them both. Um, they, they tend to get a little jealous, so yeah. uh, GM is already talking like making an exclusivity out of it. You never know. Yeah. But, but uh, they, they may just say, we'll buy your car. Hopefully they'll do that and make, hopefully they'll just take it. You know. yeah, what just we want to do is license the powertrain and let them put it in and have yeah. them sell it, sell, sell it uh, for yeah. the dealership. That's what our ultimate goal is. Well, they'd like to put it on. I'm sure that if, if, it's, if it is as good as it is, when you say, I need a, I need a million of these a year, you can get the cost down. Oh yeah. And then, in fact, that, that's why we. I mean, the whole idea in the car business is common parts. Yeah. So we put built one powertrain that can handle everything from a um, 1500 all the way up to a class five or six with the right gear on on the backside. So you make the same motor a lot. You make the same um, mm -hmm. generator a lot of that same one. It's, it really helps bring the cost down. I think I think the battery costs will continue to, to come down. We've seen. Uh, we see 15% a year reduction in cost so far, and if that continues, we'll be in a couple of years. We'll be half the price that we are. And, and it's seven or eight, it's six or seven, eight percent improvement in capacity, capacity per, per yep. volume. Um, yep. Yeah, the future's looking bright. For this. Yeah. You said that there's a possibility of a natural gas. Possibility. Uh huh. Yeah, we're agnostic in terms of liquid fuel. Agnostic. It's the, the downside of natural gas in a truck like this is that 
you would require a tank in the bed for the natural gas, and lots of truck owners, some truck owners won't mind giving up that bed space, but that's one of the downsides of natural gas. Replacing the gas tank. Replacing we already did, batteries. Yep. We already got that done. Yeah, but you have to have some fuel source for so, the... Uh, so who wants to ride? Hey, let's go. Let's go for a ride.